This is ElectroVid video 1 on basic circuitry. So, when a battery, its negative side and its positive side, are hooked up with um, a wire or other component parts, the electricity will flow from the negative side to the positive side. However, when Benjamin Franklin first figured out how electricity worked, he got it wrong. He said that it flowed from the positive side to the negative side. That error was thought of as correct for such a long time, so everything, including circuit drawings, is still done like that today, even though it is incorrect. When electricity flows through a circuit, it tends to take the easiest route, the route that it doesn't have to exert as much electricity to get through, the way that it will keep the most electricity. So if you put up a resistor, a resistor is something that slows down electricity or takes some of it away, it will flow not through the resistor but through any other shorter thing but if you just have the resistor then then it will go through the resistor a resistor will keep your lights from burning out but if it doesn't flow through the resistor then it might burn out your lights so you want the resistor so it won't take the shortest path so here I have a battery pack with six volts in it right here and I will hook this green wire, which is the positive side, up to my breadboard here. And now I will hook up the black wire right here to this other part of it down here so I can power my circuit. Once this is done, no electricity is flowing, we will have to add some other component parts onto this circuit. First, I will grab a resistor, so I will not burn out my LEDs. Alright, I'll get a 470 ohms one to start out. Alright, so, this whole row up at the very top is powered by that green cord now. It just has to be connected. Same with this bottom one, it will power that black cord in the end. So, if I hook up the resistor to there, it is now powering that whole column. Hook the resistor to there, power that column. To there, power that column. And same on the bottom. That column will now power that thing, that, that thing. Alright. So, I, the electricity will flow through this resistor to not burn out my LEDs. So, I will need an LED for this first circuit. I will get a red one. And so, the longer side of this LED here, which is the side that is bent, right, like that, I will plug it into the same column as one of the legs of that resistor right there. See, I'll take this longer leg, plug it into that same column. The other leg will go wherever, just in a different column. Alright, so there it is. I just need to attach it back to the negative. I'll take a wire to do that. I'll plug it into the same column as that LED, right in there, and back to negative. And as I have done that, the LED now lights up, because electricity is now flowing through the green wire through the resistor, through the LED, through the black wire, and back into negative. This is a button, also commonly referred to as a switch. When it is pressed, it will flow electricity from one of the legs to the other leg, depending how I hook it up. So first, as always, I'll take a resistor so I won't fry out my LED. Stick it into that top hole into one of those columns. Then I'll take this button, put one of its legs into the same column as that resistor. The other leg will just end up being somewhere else and will still work. So it'll flow through that button when the button is pushed. Then, now the button does nothing. I'll take the positive end of the LED, the longer one, Plug it into the same column as that other leg on that button. And then, I'll just need one more cord in the same column as the negative side 
of that LED right there to take it back to the negative side. The LED is not lighting up, but when I press the button, it will now light up. Alright, next I will show you about another electrical circuit component called a switch. So it has three legs. The middle leg is powered when it is plugged into something else and you can switch it back and forth and power the other two sides. First I will get a resistor as not to fry out my LEDs. Plug that into that top row and do another column. Then I will take my switch. I will get the middle leg, the leg that the electricity flows into the switch by and put that in the same column as that resistor. So electricity is now flowing into the switch. And depending on which way I flip the switch, it'll power those other two legs, but never both at once. So I've got the switch flicked to the right, and it would be powering that side, but nothing is hooked up yet. So I'm going to need to get a second LED. And now it's flowing to that. Now nothing's happening, so I need wires going back to the negative to make it work. So right in that same column is the negative side of that blue LED and back home to the negative. Alright so now the blue light is lighting up. Now if I flip this switch it goes to the red light. Doesn't happen yet because it's not connected home. So I'll need another wire. I'll hook one end of the wire to that side of the um, LED and then the other end of it goes back to the negative down there and now the red light is lit up so I can flip this switch back and forth to change the color of the lights next I will show you about a larger button that works differently it has four legs alright there it is it also comes like that. That red thing on top is just makes it easier to push. That's all that it does. All right. So first, as always, grab my resistor, plug it in that top row, and do another column. And then get a button, one of those big buttons, mm -hmm. plug one of its legs, into the same column as this resistor up here. Boom. And then the other legs will just fall into other columns and rows. It doesn't work yet when I push it because there's nothing hooked up. But now the electricity is flowing through that resistor and through those two automatically. Only when I press the button will it flow out there or there. Alright, so I'll need an LED and back home to the negative. It's already on because it flows automatically through. So to make the button useful I'll have to plug it like this and now when I press the button it turns on. And also that other leg is being powered over there right there so I'll grab another LED hook it up there in that same column over there and then get a wire in that same column there back to the negative. Now when I press the button, they'll both turn on, but electricity finds, finds the easier way to flow and it flows through the red one because the red one is less um, electricity taken away. So now, after I take the red one out, it flows through the blue when I press the button. Alright, so I'll put the red one back in and over here and take that resistor out, put the green wire in here to see it. They them both turn on. The, they are both turning on now. The blue is still pretty dim because of electricity, but at least you can see a bit of it. Alright, so I will now take the green wire, put it back where it goes, and take everything else off of here. Now I'm going to show you about this thing, this is a quadruple switch here, when I flip this switch on, that one on the end, electricity is now flowing through that wire there, up and out through that wire. 
and each of the switches corresponds with different wires on all the on both the sides to flow through. All right, so I'm going to turn them all on here. Now electricity is flowing through all the ones on one side to the other side. All right, I'm going to turn them all back off and then show you how this works. So, after they are all turned back off, I'm going to plug the side with the numbers up there in directly back into that positive side up there. So, this somewhere up there, eh, it'll fit right there. All right, so I'm going to plug it like that. Now, I'm going to only show you how two of them work, but the others work by the same principle. So, I'm going to get my two LEDs. First, I use the red one, plug its positive side into one of the columns with a switch. So, I'll put this LED over there, same way, and then I'll put a wire in there, take it back home to the negative down here. And I'll get a wire for the other one too. And put the other side back into there. Alright, I'll flip one of these switches down there. The one on the very end which controls that LED. And it'll light up blue. Because electricity is flowing through it. And then, once I turn it off, it w I can flip the other switch and it will now go through the red. So, I did not use a resistor here, which is actually dangerous because I could burn something out. But that is about this right here, this um, four switches thing. Alright, and that is it. See you next time for video two.